All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use ASOP uh, to put in four days off. Um, I'm on the district website here. To get into ASOP is this little white icon down here, the banner. It's got a little apple, um, red apple. If I click on that, it takes me over to ASOP. The ID and PIN will be in the email that you got. Uh, you should have gotten an email titled, Welcome to ASOP. You might have gotten a couple of them, actually. Uh, the ID... is a phone number. In my case it was my home phone number. And then the PIN is also in the email. The system gives you a PIN to start with and then you can change it. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. When you log into ASAP, the first thing you see is the calendar. Uh, these two days here, Monday the 2nd and October the 14th, they are pink. They are closed days. And it's Labor Day and that one's Columbus Day. So you can't ask for days off on those days because we're closed those days. Uh, this day here, the 27th, um, I had a absence. That's why it's blue. If I click on it, it'll tell me the details of my absence. I had a half a day AM scheduled absence. I had a doctor appointment. To change your PIN, if you come up here and click on account, it comes up and it tells you who you are. One of your options over here on the left is change PIN. This is how you would change your passcode. You would type in the old PIN, which was the one that the uh, email had and then whatever you want your new pin to be. You can make it any four or five digit number that you want. Let's see, it says there are four or five digits. Um, however, whatever you want, whatever you're gonna remember. And then you would change your pin that way. Going back to the main page here, to create an absence, down here, it says create absence. If I scroll down, I have a screen here. I can also see scheduled absences, things I have coming up, and it says right here that I have one, which is the half a day I had this morning. Past absences or denied absences are the three choices. I've already been marked as a substitute required no employee. Absence reason, if you click the drop down, you can do, I'll say I'll have jury duty coming up. Jury duty, full day, I can pick the date, Let's say I have jury duty tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday. And it says here, helpful hint. You can select multiple days individually or click and drag. So if I click the 28th, 29th, 30th, now all three of those days are clicked. I could also drag. I probably would just click 28th, 29th, 30th. And it's saying uh, full day, not half day. If I put notes to administrator, I could put jury duty at 26th in California. Once I click create absence, it gives me a confirmation number. I will also get an email with this information. I click OK, and now it's telling me I have two scheduled absences. Today, in the morning, half day personal, personal day, and then the one tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday for jury duty. If I just say, I'll say oops, I put the wrong date or something happens and I don't, I don't end up having to take that day off, I can delete this one. I notice I cannot delete this one because the time has passed. I've already taken this day. But this is one I haven't taken yet. So I can click delete. Are you sure you want to cancel? Yes and it's gone. It says absence has been deleted. I click dismiss message and there you go. You've just put in an absence and in my case I just deleted an absence. You will get an email when the absence has been approved or denied um, so that you know that everybody who needed to know that you're going to be absent got your your absent request. And that's pretty much it. When you're done, especially if you're at a school computer that the kids might be sitting at, you're going to want to click log out and you're back to the ASAP page and you're done.